Janae Shell sends her two kids to the Eastern Child Development Center after school. Today when she walked inside... It just looked like a normal day in there. It looked like happy, like just normal. But that wasn't the case. Just hours before CYFD told the daycare center it was suspending its license, meaning come Monday they won't be open for business. That was a surprise to Shells. So they didn't tell you that at all today? No. We watched investigators from the state walk in. We're told they watched surveillance videos and interviewed the staff. They're investigating allegations of what they call inappropriate treatment of children. Tina Daney is with no the center. She told us an employee recorded another child care worker in the infant room last week. She was holding an infant. She was seated and holding the infant and rocking her very hard like this. When managers saw the cell phone footage and asked the employee what was going on. She said she was having a bad day. So that's, that's not a reason to be rocking an infant that hard. The daycare says it fired the woman immediately. The child was taken to the hospital and is okay. Danny called the state and police right after the incident. She hopes the center will be open by Monday, Tuesday at the latest. But in the meantime, dozens of parents like Kimye Files are without child care. They said after today it's over. Um, at least temporarily. So they gave us some resources for next week. And they're having to scramble, even take time off from work to figure out where their kids will go Monday after school and possibly for good.